Hey, this is Jack at TC3. Today we're going to replace a electric cooling fan for the radiator on a 99 through 2004 Mustang. This one happens to be an 04, which makes it the 40th anniversary model. Anyway, there she is. I was pulling in the driveway, and a little bit of smoke was coming from under the hood. I thought, uh oh, with hot day, it was near 100. I thought, well, we got some sort of cooling problem, but I popped that hood and yeah, it was an electrical fire from that uh, <laughs> electric motor on the fan, so we're going to have to replace that. I was just hoping nothing was damaged uh, in the wiring parts, and it was. Anyway, you need to remove that 8mm bolt from your coolant reservoir. Just pull up on the bracket and pull to the side. Now, just pull it up. It's stuck in a cleat. Just kind of twist it and pull it up. You're not going to break it. The plastic's pretty thick. Don't do what I did here. Take take that overflow hose off and just get that thing totally out of the way. It's going to prove to be in your way. <laughs> okay, so first thing, we're going to pull the electrical connector off the fan. This is uh, in the fan. On the fan. So we remove that. And there's three cleats holding it into the fan housing. So you're just going to pull them out. They're like little Christmas tree cleats. You just pull them out. I didn't show pulling the third one, but I did. There's two, exactly two 10 millimeter bolts holding this fan on. Uh, this installation is about as simple as it gets. It was pretty well thought out by Ford. Anyway, there's the first one. One on the right and the left, both on the upside. On the bottom side of the fan, it just slides into a little groove. There's like two little smooth tabs that slide into a groove and that's what holds it on the bottom so literally two bolts to do this there's the second one and when you pull this up you're going to twist it like from your perspective ever so slightly counterclockwise and pull it up and yeah there you go comes right out uh, actually fairly simple operation so here's the slot that's going to slide into that groove on the bottom and it will be bolted in on the top on both sides. So we'll take the new one and yeah, see had I removed that overflow reservoir that wouldn't be in the way right now but uh, yeah. So we we'll slide this in now the first thing we get them two tabs to slide into the grooves on the bottom and then uh, the bolt holes should align up uh, really, really close. So, let's see. Take a look. Yeah. It's, it's in a little groove. I'll see if I can show you that. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, so you push it down and then you'll be able to put in your bolts now two bolts I do I do get love that so the, here it is you see that little tab it kind of slides and now it's hard to see I'm trying to show you see how that slides down in there uh, and then you're just gonna put your two 10 millimeter bolts back in and uh, yeah it mounts with two bolts that is so nice and they're easy to get to this is just icing on the cake Okay, so you're going to plug your electric fan back in. Uh, keep pushing till you hear that click. Make sure that's totally on there. And then you're going to take your uh, little Christmas tree mounts and push them into your plastic fan housing. Remember, there's three of them, so you get them, you get them back in and uh, yeah, keep it nice and neat under the hood there. Yeah, there we go. One, two, three. Anyway. See on the bottom, I don't know if you can see it, that's where the bottom of that reservoir <laughs> pushes through. So you push that in and push it down, put it back on, put your bolt in. Yes, I don't have the uh, video clip for that. I'm going to crank her up and see if this uh, fan's going to work or not. I need to see it come on and off for my, own, for my own brain. Yeah, she kicked on. Let's see if it kick off when it thinks it's warm enough. There we go. There we go. We have success. Well, it's about that simple. And uh, thank you for watching.